agree. And the one lady that has put in so much work mm -hmm. since she was just a little girl is none other than Patti Juarez. Patti comes all the way from Mexico. It's a family of three sisters, all three fighters. They all started as soccer players, but when they realized that they were not going to be able to shine independently, then their dad said, you want to do this? You guys want to be stars? I'm going to teach you how to fight. So they fight because of the family roots, because of the father, because of what the type of work ethic that was instilled in them. And for them, it's a joy to walk into any type of ring. And the trigon for Patti was built like to the T. At least that's what Mariana Juarez says, her sister, who is a multi-time champion in boxing. Well, Monica Medina, the opponent this evening for Patty, is a young lady who's a local, so she's going to have the crowd behind her. That's one thing in her mm -hmm. advantage. She was going to get out of the fighting business. She opened up a gym in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, just down the road, and she was going to quit and just run the gym. But the kids in the gym inspired her so much, she decided to continue on. So now she finds herself fighting for a world title, for two amazing belts, and the opportunity to perhaps take down one of the best fighters in all of bare knuckle boxing. We've talked about how complete Patty is and what this fight means to them, to the ladies, to the ladies in combat sports across the board. This is the 19th belt given by the Police Gazette, the first to a female. Absolutely, and this is a, a female main event, so we're excited about that. I just can't wait to see Patty get in there and fight because to me, she's like the human Terminator because she is like a machine in, the, in there. She likes to throw combinations, but she's very precise. She doesn't waste her punches. You don't see her miss a lot of punches. She's so compact and tight, good defense. She really is a complete fighter, in my opinion. So are we ready for the piece de resistance, the, ice on the, the icing on the cake? Let's do it. Yes. Goldie, let's do it. Let's do it. Or here we go set for our main event of the evening. The lightweight title is on the line, our tale of the tape. Holly Patty Juarez, 41, Monica Medina, 37. Everything else yep. is virtually identical. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The difference is going to be shown in, inside the Trigon. That's why we're here for the fight, right? I mean, an inch height advantage for Juarez. She likes to bang on the inside, too. Uh, she's got a, a one-inch reach advantage, but again, she may use it to the outside or she may use it on the inside. We'll see how Monica Medina deals with all of this. As she says, she's tougher than Juarez. I'm dying to find out. <laughs> well, tonight is her seventh fight here at home in this building. So she has home court advantage, but will it be enough to knock off Patty and go home with that beautiful belt? With the official introductions, Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your main event of the evening. Scheduled for seven two-minute rounds, it is for the BYB Women's Lightweight Championship and the Police Gazette World Diamond 135-pound championship and is presented by Playmaker. Interesting first, fighting out of the blue corner. Please welcome the Trigon, Monica Medina. Outstanding Monica Medina, born in the Bronx, has her gym, as Claudia and Bob mentioned. She took two years off to open her gym. She came back to fighting because her students encouraged her and energized her, and now she wants to win that belt for them, for all the young students that she teaches every day, that she teaches to understand the true tradition of martial arts and the true class it takes to be 
a martial artist. Exactly. And you know, I love that name, Fenoma. Fenoma. And that's what she did. She got herself in great shape. It's a tremendous inspiration. That it's never too late to start and get yourself in shape. And that's what she's done. She was out of shape years ago. Her oldest son, her oldest son's nickname in jiu-jitsu was Little Phenom. So she became Phenom Mom. And she is set to challenge our champion, Monica Medina. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner. Please welcome to the Trigon, Patty Juarez. Born and raised in Mexico City. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, the first ever BYB champion. She went seven two-minute rounds against Christine Knuckles Stanley to win that title. And if you ever doubted the toughness of the middle sister, Barbie being the legendary five-time world champion, her older sister, Lord is now 35, is 33 and two, and the WBC world female super flyweight champion all those questions were answered in that seven round war Polly, that we saw patty juarez have with christina stanley well that's why I'm, I'm so curious about medina now you know uh to say you're tougher than juarez we've seen the toughness of juarez we've yeah. seen her ability we've seen her toughness if medina's tough on the juarez we are in for one heck of a fight tonight christine then, stanley sorry benny and then sarah click she went into the fourth round with Exactly, but you know, male or female, to me, Patty Juarez is the best I've seen in managing the fight space in the Trigon. She does a beautiful job of moving laterally, throwing punches, and getting out of the way, and just manages that space beautifully. And Barbie is her training partner, and Barbie, obviously, her mentor being the older sister. Many have said the Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. of the female version in Mexico. I'll tell you what, the heart, the soul is there in all three Juarez sisters. And Patty does not plan on giving her belt away to Biloxi's own here tonight. The champion, Patty Juarez, set to defend for the third time, the second time. Here is Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. This is your main event of the evening. Scheduled for seven two-minute rounds. It is for the BYB Women's Lightweight Championship and the Police Gazette World Diamond 135-pound championship. So I need everybody in the arena from the Raptors to ringside and those of you tuning in around the world to get up out of your seats, raise your drinks high, and get wild! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. She is making her bare knuckle boxing debut, and she fights right here in Biloxi, Mississippi. Introducing Monica Phenomenon Medina. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. She holds an undefeated bare knuckle record of two wins, zero losses. And she fights out of Denver, Colorado, by way of Mexico City, Mexico. She is the reigning, defending BYB Women's Lightweight Champion, introducing Patty Warren. Our referee in charge, Bobby Wambacher. All right, ladies, this is the main event. It's for the Women's Lightweight Championship. We've been through the rules in the back. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up if you want. The champion, Juarez. The challenger, Medina. 
fight scheduled for seven two-minute rounds. Bobby Wambacher, our referee. Title on the line. Here we go. The champion in the black and gold trunks, white trunks, and the black top for the challenger, Monica Medina. You know, Medina's a heavy hitter, but, you know, very raw boxing skill. So we're going to see what that's going to be tested. This is an MMA fighter. Yeah, she's tough. She's, she's, she's throwing the big shots, the big right hands over the top. Knuckles, Christine Stanley, is a, is a heavy hitter, and she was able to catch Patty early, and then the technique of Patty Juarez started to take over. Yeah. Patty cut from, from that right hand over the top of her left eye. Now shorter, sharper, shorter shots from Juarez. Patty's found a home for that right hand. Coming right over the left of Medina. Yeah, Medina's got to be careful not to just be a one-trick pony. She's looking for one big right hand. She follows it up with nothing, and she falls in sometimes. So she's got to be careful because Juarez is a good fighter, and she'll start to hone in on the fact that that's the case, and she'll start to time it and make her miss that. And there it is again, one-trick pony. She's got to start to adjust a little bit, maybe throwing feints. Mike Goldberg, Benny Ricardo, the magic man, Pauli Malinaji. Great to be here. Trigon side tonight. Claudia Trejos, Bob Alexander doing an outstanding job at the desk as we get to watch the handiwork of two pioneers of the modern day of BYB competition for the women. The first BYB champion, Patty Juarez, against Monica Medina, who is proud to say she was part of the very first ever female bare knuckle MMA fight and one of only two people to have fought on all three of Jorge Masvidal's Gamebred FC bare knuckle MMA cards. And there's already a cut above the left eye of Patty Juarez. That could be a problem because it's above the eye and that'll the blood's gonna trickle in there. Yeah, I was saying Medina's got a, looking like a one trick pony with the right hand, but Juarez is getting hit with a lot of those right hands. She's gotta, she gotta adjust to that. The upper catch, bend over, the six, the corrupt. Hey, you got this. Hey, let's go. Let your hands go. Let your hands go. Let your hands go. Here's the right hand that opened up Patty Juarez. Take a look at it in a moment as we are set to start round number two. Monica Medina with a great start to this fight, getting her hometown crowd into it immediately. Dirty Boxing 101 there. Yeah, Medina uses that. She's obviously got the MMA background. Yes. And Jiu-Jitsu as part of MMA, of course, Pauly, but you really work on the clinch. Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, she's done it all. And, you know, Barbie was emphasizing the jab. For Patty to use the jab, work off that jab, and come in, follow the right hand with it, but definitely start everything with the jab. So Barbie wants Patty to do what she does better than any female that we <laughs> have watched, and that is box. Utilize her superior boxing skills. Got Medina a bit awkward, change of stances on the outside. Jumps in and out. She did she say did boxing is new to her, Pauly. Yes, but she, you know, she, she can make it tricky, though, for, uh, for Juarez. And she's got that one-two down pat. I mean, she's... I mentioned it could be a case of a one-trick pony in the first round, but she landed a lot of right hands. Juarez has not adjusted to that right hand of, of, uh, of uh, Medina on the outside. And on the inside, Medina obviously has her dirty boxing. There's a lot of bruising already, Benny, on the left cheek of the champion. Exactly. And, and, and then that cut, the cut above the left eye, which is going to be a problem because that's going to trickle right into the, into the eyes. The blood is, and that stings incredibly. Hematoma starting to swell 
But see, this is not the fight that Patty has to fight. She's got to right. fight from a distance. And she told me before the fight that's what she was going to do. But now, you know, Medina's making her fight her fight. That's but, where she's got to be. But is that about weathering an early storm of an aggressive attacker who wants what she has? Oh, definitely. No, but I'll tell you, Medina knows how to navigate her way around the trigon, though. You know, she doesn't just punch herself out. She's backing up. You know, she's taking her time. And then she kind of flies in with those one-twos. And then when she gets inside, she knows how to do that dirty boxing to her advantage. So Medina's also figuring out ways to conserve energy so that she can maintain this advantage. The corner of Biloxi's zone. He knows how to mount. Relax. Look. See, now look, we need to relax. Start boxing her a little bit, okay? So look, she's, oh, she's doing exactly what we know she's going to do. She's throwing the jab down the middle. She told us at this point in her career. She is fighting to test herself, grow her legacy, and show her students what it's all about. The corner saying, utilize that body. Break that body down. Monica took some shots as well. You could see her wincing. And there's some swelling on the left side of the face of Monica Medina as well. Third round. This one's scheduled for seven two-minute rounds. The Police Gazette. Women's World 135 Diamond Belt. And the BYB. Women's lightweight championship belt on the line. You know, that jab of Medina is a problem for Patty. She cannot get past that. Yeah, sharp. She throws it sharp. Every time she starts to come in, that, that stops her right there, right in her tracks. Yeah, she throws it out very sharp. You know, and, and, and Patty's got to, she faints, but she's got to faint her way in sometimes. She's not punching off the faint. And, that, and that's allowing Medina to time her with that jab. And when she's trying to close the gap, it's predictable. And Mike, she's got to come underneath that because right now she's a very easy target for Medina. Medina knows where she's at right then and there. She doesn't have to go looking for her. Monica, back in the day, she said, I was tired of being a... <laughs> There's a good combination now by Juarez. A chubby mom, as she said. She lost 50 pounds, started her fighting career, and has not looked back. She is fighting for herself, for this city, but for all her students to show them what a warrior is all about. And you're right, she does have skills. And she is utilizing technique, not just her toughness and athleticism. Yeah, but her effectiveness is when they get inside. Look at, look at the things she does inside. She knows where to put her hands, she knows where to put her elbow, and that's really frustrating Patty. Yeah, yeah, it also nullifies, not only can she go do her work, good work at times, but even in moments like this where she's not doing good work, she's nullifying Patty. So Patty, it's up to it's Patty's responsibility here to be effective on the outside. She's done a better job of it this round, but she's got to get more consistent with that. We're starting to see that a little bit this round. Patty's starting to land a few. Monica Medina, you could see as she entered the Trigon, she's very strong, in great shape, and she hits pretty darn hard. But she's starting to go back now, and that's not necessarily a good thing for Medina. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's effective round for Waters. Probably her best round. There's work to do for the cup, man. Hard jab. Join us on all our social media platforms. Glad to be here tonight on our YouTube channel. Hope you are enjoying. Please like, subscribe. Check out Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And what Barbie's, asking, this rise. what Barbie's asking her to do there is throw combinations. You know, to, to come in there throwing. Like you said, you got to earn your, your way inside there as you walk her down. But you got to close the gap, and she's running into the jab with Medina, which which implodes her ability to follow up and throw combinations. Like you run into a jab, and it kind of forces you to reset. So she's got to find an answer for that. And Paulie, it's almost like Medina's planting a trap, saying, come on in. You can come in. And then yeah. that's when she does her yeah. damage. Better round, though, for Juarez in the third round. I thought she won it. I thought so, too, and I thought her conditioning's starting to show now. Yes, yes. The altitude of Denver, Colorado. Absolutely. And now coming here to Biloxi, Mississippi, 
And I mean, look at the, the facial expression of Monica, but as you guys saw, she was putting her hands on the shoulders of her trainer at the end of that time between rounds. Training at altitude is a definitive advantage if you're fighting someone who has not done the same. If Juarez doesn't start countering that right hand Medina throws, I mean, she's gonna be beating a lot more of them. She already has a hard time slipping them. Her eyes closing, so you've gotta take away the confidence of Medina from throwing that right hand. You've gotta make her pay once in a while so that she, she doubts her ability to throw it. Right now, the worst that happens to Medina when she throws right hand, she misses. She never pays for it. So she's going like crazy, especially as she sees the left eye of Juarez closing. And Juarez is very upright, Paulie. When she throws that shot, she's just straight up. You would think that she would dip a little bit and then try to go ahead and hook off of that. Little lateral movement, as her sister always talks about. Medina changing it up a little bit, uh, with that right hand to the stomach. Even that slight change will, you know, make things more effective for you. They've been splitting jabs a lot, Paulie. Nice jab by Patty War as the champion. Okay, now it's starting to see the MMA Medina. Watch when oh, she goes to throw that big shot. Big she'll, right hand. She'll raise her leg. Watch how she'll raise her leg when she goes to throw the big shot. Still got a little pep on it, though, man. Yeah. Patty oh. Juarez could be well served with a pressure fight like this right now. It's late in this round, I, I understand, but the gas tank of Monica, you can see, is starting to deplete. Yeah, and you can see the urgency on the part of Juarez, but Juarez is a, has a little bit of a problem here because she's got an urgency because the eye could close and it can make things worse. But also, when she's, she's got to pressure Medina. She's got to keep trying to wear down Medina. But the thing about a fighter like Medina, where, where Juarez runs into this problem, is she's got to be effective from a bit, at least that middle range. Because when she gets too close, she's going to get locked up, and either she's going to get the worst of the inside exchanges, or she's more going to be neutralized to where nobody does anything. And it's the onus is on her. The brunt of responsibility is on her to make things happen right now, because she's got the eye closing, and she's starting to fight the, uh, the worst of the two fighters. I think it's closed. I don't think she's seeing out of that left eye right now. They're trying to put that in swell right there. Trying to lower that. Yeah. And that's the thing at all. It's only going to get worse because she's she wasn't seeing the right hands. She was doing a bad job slipping the right hands when she had the eye. Now the right that it's hand. closing, it's only going to get worse. Hey, you got to stop her right now. Shots by Medina. That's right there on the jab. eye. Yeah, there's a sharp jab by Medina. Medina's been landing the jab consistently. And there's a sharp right hand. That was the best shot of the round. See, she's not seeing those shots. Nah. And you can tell now for Medina, she's got a target, Mike. Fifth round. Scorecards, you both said it's close. Would you both potentially have it at 2-2? I, I have it at 2-2, yeah. I have a 3-1, Medina. So the champ's got some work to do. Patty has gone the seven round distance. She did so in her bare knuckle championship winning fight against Christine Stanley. An absolute showcase of skill by both women and heart and guts, courage, and an iron will. You know, and I like what Medina's doing, Paul. Watch what she, with her hands, like moves it around to see if uh, Patty can see it. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's given a little bit of different wrinkles now, you know? See the right hand even to the stomach. Again, it's, it's some changes there so that she's not looking like such a one-trick pony. And I'll tell you, the one-trick pony stuff was working, but the fact that she's now starting to differentiate a little bit is only going to make her more tricky to deal with. And again, she's throwing punches that boxers aren't used to seeing. And I think that's what's causing some problems for Patty. Yeah, but it's also the issue for... Uh, for, for for Patty is also she's there's no explosiveness entering the punch range. I mean, Medina can kind of see her entering. There's no creativity. She's trying to come in the front door, and and she's not really coming in and with an explosive speed. So, so Medina can kind of just stick out her jab and, and, and clip her with it every time she tries to close the gap. And then if she does get close, this is what happens. Juarez becomes ineffective 
because on the inside, Medina can just lock her up in the way she knows how. This is Medina's fight right there inside, right there. That's a that's an MMA fighter. Yeah, Medina's had a good round on the outside, and now this is just, you know, Patty's trying on the inside, but Medina's doing a good job of just nullifying it. She's not as tough as me. <laughs> That's, That's what how Monica you has, told us. It hasn't even been a tough fight uh, as far as a, a, a battle of attrition. It's, it's been, obviously, every fight has its attrition, but Dina's fought a very intelligent fight. You know, I, I think she's almost outfoxed her, you know, in, 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 as Fox War is in a lot of ways. She's kept it within her skill set. Exactly. And she, she, she seemed to have that calm yesterday when we talked to her. Yeah. Like, she knew exactly what she was going to do. And she was going to go ahead and pose her will and make Patty fight her fight. Look at it. She looks as fresh as ever. Hey, you look great. You're just a little bit tired. That's all it is. You're fine. You gotta bleed. You gotta bust it up. Keep, keep putting that right hand on you, okay? Keep putting that right hand on you. Can't shoot out of the left eye. Eric Graham from Graham MMA, the Killer Bees, one of the leaders of Monica Medina's preparation for this championship fight. Championship rounds. Round six. Patty Juarez with the red wrap, the gold and black trunks. The challenger from here in Biloxi looking to utilize her strength and athleticism again. And you know, you watch Patty's legs, Paul, and she no longer has that bounce. It's, it's strictly on the heel. And she hasn't had really a bounce the whole fight, you know? I'll tell you, Medina's, Medina's been really smart in changing range, you know, uh, forcing Patty to think her way in. It's not, it's not just been a, like with Christine Stanley, it was just a tough fight. You yeah, know? It's yeah. Just, you, had to, it was just, you had to be tough. Yeah, you, you had to show technique help, you had to be tough. Medina's been really, really crafty. And Mike, Medina actually does a good job with that shoulder roll. Because she, she turns around, takes the angle away from yep. Patty when she goes inside. And again, still meeting her with that jab, never got away from that. That ramrod jab that she throws a lot of weight behind it. And very sharp. And look, she's not, even from this distance, she's not trying to always pressure. Juarez, where they come together. That was what I saw in the Stanley fight. Anytime there was a little bit of space, they were both just coming into each other like two trucks. And Medina kind of is, is okay with this space. She's okay with it. And even when she gets on the inside, she's fine with it because she's got the advantage on the inside. But here, she's also taking her time. She's resting, picking her shots. Juarez lands some good shots there. Obviously, it's a chess battle, but it allows the fight to be at a manageable pace for her. Look at the face of Patty Juarez, and look at the face of Monica Medina. I know that's not exactly how we judge fights. I know that's not exactly how they go or the only criteria. But when you talk about visible damage done, it's all being done by the challenger. Yeah, you can tell the momentum of these rounds. Juarez is, again, this, on the inside here, she just gets nullified. So she's, she's got to make it happen on the outside. And it's, it's, it's been very tough. But now she's not seeing these right hands. She slipped that one. But getting more and more dangerous for her with those right hands. And, and Benny, it could be as simple as that, being the start to the downfall of Patty Juarez in the fact that she landed that big punch, she closed up that left eye, and Patty's trying to not just physically but mentally get back into her game, and Monica's not letting her do it. Well, another question also has to be, when does she all of a sudden like fight like a 41-year-old fighter? Yeah. I think she turned 41 tonight. Yeah. Because yeah. she's, you know, she's trying to find answers within herself, and they're not coming. Very lackadaisical, very lethargic. And Medina, as you guys said, she, she can box. She's putting together combinations yeah. still. Yeah, little sharp, short jabs on the inside. That The jab was the best shot of that whole exchange there, but it was a nice, sharp one as well. A lot of rough tumble in there. Nothing else really lands. Then Medina nullifies everything else, and you win the exchange like that, you know? And even the way she uses that open hand to stop mm -hmm. Juarez. Again, it, it's... Juarez may look her age, but it's, you got to also credit Medina. Medina's not exactly... a a spring chicken herself. She's 37, so it's not like she's a. It's a big age gap there. She just. She's been very crafty tonight. Medina has. You got to credit her for that. One minute and 45 seconds remain in our main event of the evening. This championship fight.
not just for the BYB belt, but for the 19th World Diamond Belt in the 141 year history of the Police Gazette's great partnership with the Bare Knuckle Hall of Fame in Belfast, New York. Medina's done a masterful job of taking away the punching angles. Yep. That's what she's done beautifully, the way she turns. So, and see, as soon as she gets in there, she knows exactly how to yeah. grab. Yeah, she nullifies, but also Juarez has been trying to come into the front door all, every time. I mean, you know that jab's coming. Angle yourself a little bit to your left so you can counter it with a left hook on your way in. Instead, you're just walk, trying to walk in straight and running to it every single time. And she, the more desperate she gets, the less she's thinking now. You know, she, But here's the thing. You, the more she forces herself on the inside, the more she walks into a clinch. And, you know, I said the fact that she manages space better than I've ever seen. But in this particular thing, she's not managing that space at all because she's coming straight ahead, Mike. She, she, I, 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 would, I would be telling her to, you know, angle, on, angle her weight on her left foot as she steps in so that she can kind of slip that jab that Medina is now throwing on automatic and you can counter with a left hook. But she hasn't tried it once. She's just walked straight in and she's taking the counter. She's kicking that jab. Under 30 seconds remain in this championship fight. somebody here in Biloxi. You know, who, who knew? Who knew yeah, that Medina would come in here and look so good? Yeah, yeah. But she has a lot of experience. Again, like I said at the top of the show, you do have to have uh, a, 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 an array of experience. You got to come from some kind of art form as far as combat is concerned. It's still dangerous if you just come in off the street. When she first got started, she got started under Alan the Talent Belcher, who's now been amazing in bare knuckle. That dude trained with Duke Rufus for years. He was dominant inside the octagon. He is an outstanding Muay Thai practitioner. It was Alan Belcher who got Monica started, and she's just taking it from there. Very crafty performance tonight, and I've used that word for her performance, for her, uh, her, uh, her technique all fight. And you know, you've got, you've got to keep that in mind. She fought a very intelligent fight against a good fighter, and made and made and made Patty Warriors look very, very lethargic and very ordinary. You know, she said she was tougher, but I don't think it came, it came down to toughness. No, no, no. Tonight she was better. And yeah, the technique, and she fought her fight. She made Patty fight her fight. Yeah. You never saw Patty with any lateral movements yeah. to try to set up a counter, to yeah. try to hook off of that. Everything came straight at her. Yeah. So it actually made it easy for yeah. Medina. Changing, changing distances, you know, picking her off. You know, uh, and then when it got it, when she got inside, she just, you know, she, she, she tied her up. Man, I was almost waiting for Barbie to climb over the rope and step in there. <laughs> like they used to do when they played soccer. Has Patty defended her belt for the second time? Or is Biloxi's zone Monica Medina, the new BYB lightweight champion? And I think this place is going to erupt, Mike. I agree. And, uh, you know, this is, a, again, she's trying to be a great example to all the mothers out there that, hey, it's never too late to get yourself in shape. Go out there with your kids, and if your kids are doing it, you do it. And now she's got a whole bunch of young adults that she teaches discipline, teaches combat, teaches respect to every single day. There you see that beautiful gold belt in the hands of Scott Burt, 
the Police Gazette Women's World 135 pound diamond belt. Will it go around the waist to Monica Medina? And with real diamonds. Real diamonds, which Scott made sure we knew. <laughs> there it is. That is beautiful. And just as miraculous is the fact that one of these women is going to leave with that belt, the BYB lightweight championship belt. Has Patty defended her title? Or has Monica been truly the phenomenal mom? With the official decision, here is Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of seven full main event rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for the official decision. Judge number one scores about 68-65, Juarez. Judge number two scores about 68-65, to 65, Medina. And judge number three scores about 67 to 66. Declaring your winner by split decision. And still, the BYB Women's Lightweight Champion and the new Police Gazette World Diamond 135 pound champion, Patty Juarez. Razor close split decision victory for her second title defense and right away monica medina that leader here in biloxi clapped for her opponent and not only that but told the people do not boo and yes. wave them down and stuff that's tremendous yeah, I, class. Mean, I gotta say it again with, with bare knuckle man they don't understand the technique these judges man I, maybe they're mma judges they don't understand the technique of this thing man they, they think you just got to go forward like a ram like dude this is this is combat sports this is, there's an art to this medina fought a very crafty fight she did indeed both women should be proud here is big mo with our champion ladies who has defended and again. gentlemen I am joined here first, Monica. What a war. You made your BYB, your bare knuckle debut, and you went all seven rounds in a championship fight as the challenger. First and foremost, congratulations. How, does you, how do you feel making your debut? What was it like fighting in the Trigon? Man, it was different than anything I've ever done before. Um, just walking in here, it seemed a little bigger yesterday. Today it seemed a little smaller, but that was the most fucking fun I've had ever. Enough fun? I agree. We have some Monica Medina fans in the building, do we not? So, Monica, since you had fun, are you going to do it again? Hell yeah! <laughs> Absolutely, bring me back! Well, Monica, again, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for Monica Phenomenal Mom Medina. No Valenzuela just said, you're coming back. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> And Mel's got the check. You got yeah. that right. Great show of class. Monica Medina. How about she comes back and we get a rematch now. of this great fight. Big Mo with the champ. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined here by the winner and still champion, Patty Juarez. I'm also joined to translate BYB's phenomenal matchmaker, Mel Valenzuela. First off, Patty, congratulations on retaining your belt. You went to war but now you have another belt to your collection the police gazette world diamond 135 pound championship how does it feel to have all this hardware on you Felicidades, este, Genial, súper, súper agradecida con Dios, con toda la gente que me apoya, con mi gente en Colorado que me está viendo, apoyando, mi familia, mis hijos, todo el mundo. Que mucha... She's thankful to God, she's thankful to all of her family back home in Colorado, her, her children, everybody, her sister, and to BYB. Now, Patty, obviously you want to rest up, you want to heal up before your next fight. Are you looking to get back in the Trigon and now defend two belts again sooner rather than later? Quieres, quieres pues poner los dos cinturones después que te adivies un poco. Para eso estoy. Esto es para mí. Absolutely, this is for her. She wants to do it. Keep doing it. That sounds like a plan to me, Patty. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for your champion, Patty Juarez. So there we have it. Patty Juarez retains her title and now she adds the Police Gazette 
and makes history as being the first female to ever own that title. 19 in the Police Gazette's history. Ladies, once again, 2022 is our year in combat sports. Bob, another future Hall of Famer, long roots, deep roots into boxing, and now she's making her own chapter in bare knuckle. Well, she continues on a roll. I mean, I, I disagreed with the judge's decision. I thought that Medina won the fight, but it was close. Juarez did what she had to do. You know, she's a true champion. She showed her grit. She got cut. She got banged and beat up, but she still kept coming back, throwing punches, and that's what led to the split decision victory. I agree, and I, I would be willing to watch a rematch. I agree with you. I don't think... Uh the cards go along with what I saw. That said, what we did see tonight is a great performance by two martial artists because boxing is a martial art. And more than anything, Bob, the display of class by Monica yes. Medina, even though many around to watch the fight may think that she should have both belts around her waist right now, that is what we want to teach the next generation. Yes. Well, her students inspired her to keep fighting, yes. and she came out and fought for a championship. Split decision loss to one of the greatest bare knuckle fighters ever, I think, and she was right there. And I thought, again, I thought she won, but again, she showed class, she showed heart, grit, and she made the whole town of Biloxi proud. Yes. Sportsmanship at its best. Yes, and, and Benny and, and Polly will talk about it in a second. We just had 14 minutes to just take it in, which was tremendous. But Claudia, you've been around this game a long time. We thought maybe Monica Medina would come in and just try to be tougher and, and be the bully. But you know what? She's got skills. Yes, and she used those skills and capitalized on the deficiencies that Patty Juarez showed today. Let's be clear on this. Patty Juarez was not the Patty Juarez we've seen before. She was just a little slower, a little sluggish. There was very little snap on that jab. And obviously, Medina did what she needed to do. She stood behind her jab, and she did take that half step forward, closing the gap, and literally taking the fight to an expert like Juarez. And, and you guys, we talked about it, Benny and Magic Man. Patty Juarez wasn't the Patty Juarez that we've seen before because of Monica Medina. Yeah, you got to credit Monica Medina. She was very, very, again, I'll use the word crafty, you know, changing distances. She she was uh, coming with these over-the-top right hands, which you would have thought Juarez would start to adjust to. But even when Juarez made a slight adjustment to it, she started going with the right hands to the body yep. just so she could come back up to the head, changing stances, changing distances so that she wasn't always attacking. One thing I've noticed about Patty Juarez's is other opponents, it's always been a break, attack, 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 break, attack, attack, attack. And that is sort of a a great school type of mentality sometimes and unfortunately um I'll go back to my own bare knuckle experience. Uh, I, was I wasn't told until I was in the locker room for the fight that there would be MMA judges judging the fight instead of boxing judges. And that makes a difference. At the moment, I wasn't thinking about it. Right. Then when I didn't get the decision, and now I see the way Medina fought tonight, and she didn't get the decision, it's a great school. I don't want to call it idiot mentality to think only the person coming forward wins. I mean, because the fighters are tough, even if they are just coming forward. You do have those fighters. But for a judge to think that only the person coming forward wins the fight, no matter, regardless of anything else that happens, this is not called follow the leader. This is called fighting. And when you fight, the person that lands the better shots, the more adequate shots, sets up the better shots, Accuracy. wins the fight. If it was called follow the leader, we get any, we get the production guys to judge the fight. We don't need, we don't need you guys to judge the fight. Okay, get your, get your stuff straight in that sport, wherever you guys are getting your judges, because this is, it's not fighting anymore. If it's, if this is the only way this is going to be judged, where people just got to come forward. I thought this was a great performance by Medina, and I like Patty Juarez. I think she's been one of the better bare knuckle. Fighters I've watched in her career uh, throughout the time I've been here, but I, I, I think it's a very, very unappreciated performance that Medina put on tonight. I mean, and, and it was very disappointing that, I mean, I couldn't give more than one or two rounds to, to Juarez. Yeah. Well, if it was follow the leader, you'd be the Pied Piper. I just want you to know that. <laughs> well, you know what? That, that's about as, as, as good an, a candid I, yeah. assessment as you're ever going to get that Paulie gave us. But you know, how yeah. you but here's the thing Paulie that you does, gotta... Paulie does filter himself yeah. way too much. But here's the thing that if you ju if the criteria for judging is destruction, dominance, and disruption, if you factor those three it things. Was Medina took it all. Yeah. And, you know, to me, the disruption was there because that style, the way she used the shoulder, the way she got inside, she made Patty fight her fight. And she made her fight her fight. 
and it was those subtle things that she does and it was someone that's fought you uh, you appreciate that part yeah. of it and i thought you know medina did all those things and we thought at the very beginning patty was going to have her way but patty was never able to get that that ring movement that trigon movement that i was so impressed with in her first two fights in this one and you got to give credit to medina